Today we're going to look at puzzle number 90 from Kappa Sudoku Puzzles, volume 448. We will discuss a unique way to look at unique rectangles. Unique rectangles are difficult to see and sometimes difficult to understand. But when you understand them, they can help you solve very difficult puzzles. If you don't understand them, go to sudokuprimer.com Look at the uh, ambiguity rule in the techniques section. Learning them is well worth the effort, I believe. This puzzle is partially completed and we're stuck. We'll first find unique rectangles and then we'll use them in a unique way to find two numbers. If you want to, you can stop the video and see if you can see the URs or the unique, unique rectangles before I point them out. I thought they were difficult to find and before I noticed them. Let me know in the comments if you are able to see them or not yourself. So let me uh, first of all get started by showing, showing you a set of twins that I found. This row is missing 1, 3, 7, and 8. There's a 1 here and a 7 there, and so that's a 3 or an 8. There's a 1 and a 7 there, so that's a 3 or an 8. So we have 3 8 twins and 1 7 twins. That's the first thing I noticed. The next thing I noticed is that there are three numbers missing here and here, and they're 3 5 and 8. And so this cell right here has to be a 3 5 or an 8. And this cell has to be 3, 5, or an 8. Now let's say that um, this is a 3 or an 8. So we have 3, 8 twins there. And this is, and we know these are 3, 8 twins right here. If that's the case, then this has to be a 5 because it cannot be a 3 or an 8 because of the unique rectangles. Okay, so if we have 3, 8, 3, 8, 3, 8, that has to be a 5. All right, what if these were 3, 8 twins here? Then we'd have 3, 8 twins here and 3, 8 twins here. So that would have to be a 5. So one of these cells we know is a 5. Let's say that... Uh, this is a 5. Let's see if we can figure out what these two numbers would be if that is a 5. Well, if that's a 5, then we'd have 3, 8 twins this way, and there's an 8 there, so we'd know that's a 3 and that's an 8. So we'd have 5, 8, 3. And if that's an 8, this is a 3. All right, let's look at this one. We're, we know we're missing 3, 5, and 8 here, and if that's a 5... This has to be an 8 because it, there's a 3 here already, and that's a 3. If that's a 3, then that has to be an 8. So regardless of where the 5 is, here or here, we know that that has to be an 8 because we have 5, 8, 3. And this has to be a 3 because we have 5, 3, 8. If that's an 8, that has to be a 3. If that's a 3, that has to be an 8. So we know from the, from the unique rectangles here, not only that one of these has to be a 5, but we know that is an 8 and that's a 3. So we can fill them in. And there you go. We don't know where the fives go here, but because of the unique rectangles here, we are able to determine that that's an eight and that's a three. Well, I hope this video has helped you understand unique rectangles better. And again, if you still need, if you're still fuzz, fuzzy on them, go to sudokuprimer.com, go to techniques, and look up ambiguity rule or unique rectangles. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.